Hello everyone! Today we'll be playing Humongous Entertainment's 1995 classic, Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. This purple car is an absolute legend. I played this game a lot. I don't remember much about it other than the catchy theme song. Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. The epic graphics and his little sidekick. Look at that little dog. So come join me as we relive our childhood. And don't forget to leave a like down below uh, because I am in fact a 25 year old woman playing a game meant for five year olds. So I didn't think this is where my life would be at, but here we are. <laughs> There it is. Fill your tank, save the zoo. Get in step, save the zoo. Check your tires, save the zoo. And don't get cabin. But that saves our zoo. Hello? Outback Al? It's me, Pud Pud. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through the rest of the game because it turns out that it really is truly a kid's game and it's not as entertaining as I remember it being when I was five. Uh, but essentially, Outback Al here is super irresponsible and he somehow managed to lose like half of his zoo animals. Um, I think he should get his zookeeper license revoked. So we gotta find all these guys. Kenya, the lion cub. Zanzibar the hippopotamus, Sammy Seal, and Little Skeeter the snake. Okay, so we have to find all these animals. Um, but first, I'm a little hungry, so let's go to the food cart. <laughs> so not only is Outback Al incredibly irresponsible, it turns out he runs a terrible business model uh, because all of the food is absolutely free. So naturally, I got Putt Putt to stuff his cute little face with as much food as possible. Here you go! And it's on the house! Say! 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 They also give out free film cameras here. Gorilla salt and pepper shakers, souvenir hubcaps, even free cameras. In this economy, that would not fly. I want a hat. Can I have a hat? No. Okay. okay, so I can only take the camera. <laughs> I'm getting greedy. I want everything. Okay, let's get out of here. After consuming a bunch of free food and getting my free camera, I proceeded to uh, continue on with what I was meant to be doing, and that is saving the zoo animals. And I was met with this very Disneyland-esque layout here. We got jungle land, we got grassland, we got arctic land. Uh, so I entered the Arctic with my trusty sidekick Putt-Putt. Hopefully he has his snow tires on, but I soon realized that he clearly did not because... Arctic land is sure cold. Phew. That happened. Oh my goodness. Well, we're not getting through that. I can't so. drive through the snow. It's too deep. Oh, I have some hot cocoa. That hot cocoa might melt the snow, but I don't have enough to melt all of it. I then scurried back to the snack booth because I thought that maybe I needed more hot chocolate to just pour over the snow and melt it, but it turns out that's not what I was supposed to do. I don't think I need any hot cocoa. I still have some. Listening to Putt-Putt was a mistake, but I proceeded to jungle land. There's a toolbox in there! And then I finally found the first victim of neglect, and it was this poor little cute giraffe, and it was so sad. They all have their little sob stories, and it's actually really sad. I got stuck over here, and the drawbridge won't close. I can't believe my dumb luck. I miss my mommy. Oh, I'm a 
my period. I'm not equipped for emotional scenes like this. Okay, let me try the rope. I don't think I can move the boulder with that. This drawbridge will never close if that rock is in the way. I'll come back for you. <laughs> Anyways, I continued my journey into jungle land, and I basically just spoke with a lot of depressed animals, so I left and I entered grassland, which kind of just had the same story. Uh, so I was just really, really sad at this point. It was really a downer. Okay, this is Kenya's family. They just want their child back. Then I got a little bit distracted and ended up at this paint shack where I decided to give Putt-Putt a whole new Luke, but the change was just too much for me, so I just, I painted him back to purple, but Putt-Putt was feeling himself. I look good! And then, what was next? Oh, that's right. More depressed animals. Oh! There is, sea lion. I have the tool for this. I have it. That one. Oh, <laughs> I'm just like staring at him. Okay, I guess I have to click on this. It's this. Get ready, Sammy. You're going swimming. I was super excited at this point because it genuinely took me 30 minutes to finally save one of the animals. I had a lot of fun though. I went whitewater rafting at one point. Uh, that was very adventurous. I went sightseeing. Was looking at more snack opportunities. Ah uh, yes, more food. I casually harnessed a lion back up to safety from a rock. Yes! Pushed a boulder with my sheer strength. All it took was a little that bit of strength. Took some cool picks. Say cheese! Nice! I went back to uh, Arctic land and was able to shovel my way through the snow. I found oh, a snake, snake that so was cold. literally dying of hypothermia. I don't know how it was still alive, but gave her some hot cocoa and she warmed right up. Hot cocoa? <laughs> Thanks, Putt Putt. I feel much better. All she needed was a drink. Now can we go ice skating, or is that not an option here? Because I want to go ice skating. Oh, oh wow, okay, we're just, we're playing hockey now. Let's get to here it. Comes the puck. Yeah, <laughs> some good old ice hockey. We'd like to remind you not to forget to visit our concession stand. Where you can get free shit. Oh no, oh, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Wow, this is like, this is genuinely kind of hard. Oh my god. Yes! I did it. Anyways, that was the highlight of the game. Blah blah blah, saved some more animals. Talk to Big Al. Welcome, mates, to the grand opening of the Cartown Zoo! Junior Zookeeper? Excuse me? After all he did, I, I think, I think Big Al over there just needs to be like put behind some bars. He let a snake almost die of hypothermia. Let Putt-Putt take over the zoo. That's what it should be called. Putt-Putt takes over the zoo. Well, we saved the zoo. I gotta say it was, I don't know why I thought it would be more difficult when it's clearly for ages three and up, but I thought it would be, so. Okay, Are you sure you don't want to play anymore? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, that's all I have for this video. I have about like 300 more games in my collection from my childhood, so leave a comment down below if there's a game from your childhood that you want me to play, and I'll play it. I'll see you guys next time.